Aloha everybody. Hey. Okay, it's me Lisa Twinton Lynch Brown. This video is going to be on clearing the not enough energy. And it's up to us to recognize uh, where we hold this inside. As a human within us, this is a big energy. I don't have enough. I'm not good enough. These two are big ones, and then there are many, many more. Um, there are many different versions of not enough. We want to observe what comes up, everything that comes up inside of us. And we want to see where it comes from. As we remember, as we wake up, we start to understand uh, that not enough is not true anymore. Technically it never was. It was a part of an old program. It was a part of a program that we believed. It was a part of a program that we created to have to endure, experience, transcend here. Now, I remember as a human and it's very hard to remember such things because once you clear them, they don't come back up anymore. But they will come up repeatedly until they are completely gone. Now, all of this is held within our cellular memory. All of this is held within our physical body. This is in our bones, in our teeth, our muscles. Every minute particle of us has to be purified and cleansed. This is a purification process that we experience all along the way all along the way I know I've got video drag feed I'm trying to uh, figure out how to get this corrected until then I just have to work with it on this new computer that has issues let's call it flowing with it all the deep 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 inside the human aspect is I'm not good enough and we judge ourselves so harshly and we don't need to anymore. There's no reason to judge ourselves. There's nothing wrong with us. We are beautiful and magnificent beings and this is about coming back to who we are. This is about letting go of the old mindsets, the old perceptions, the old programs that we held inside. I remember I was a very powerful human. I was very strong, but I was a survivor. And being a survivor means that things have to be ripped away from us because you don't take survivor away from a survivor. It's our identity. You have to pry it from beneath our knuckles and our fingertips. You have to rip it away from us. Unless we can recognize within us where we've gone into survival mode, where we've gone into we need to protect ourselves against anything out there, this means we've given our power away. We've attached to a belief, to an identity, to a story. We are holding on. There is no survivor in the higher realms, on new earth, whatever words you want to use. There is no victim. There is no fear. There is no all of the old stuff we used to have inside of us. And every one of us have to go through it. We will go through death repeatedly of identities and versions and aspects of ourselves and things we had attachments to. And it's deep when we go through it. It's fast if we embrace it. It's not comfortable, but it is necessary. The physical body will also go through multiple deaths. The organs will go through a multiple death of any separation held inside. Now, where one doesn't hold separation there very much, they won't notice it as much. One who holds a lot of separation went and went to the extreme to be human, to stay asleep, to ignore and suppress, and then there will be a lot of deaths. Um, hitting the bottom, a part of the process. But if we can understand it, we actually take ourselves there. Once I started understanding my own patterns, my own themes, paying attention to the energy of things and what presented within me, 
Paying attention to the triggers as they occurred. Understanding the purposes of it all. It got so much easier. Realizing where I was standing in judgment. Letting go of the judgment. Getting to a point where I didn't care what another one thought. Loving me so much. That I never forgot how amazing and beautiful I was. I didn't listen to the outside world anymore. And that's the journey all of us do. We go inside. Finding who we are is a journey. Remembering who we are is a journey. It's one of facing the truths of what we thought we were and realizing they're not true. They're one of honoring the way we feel in every moment without justifying. We don't explain. We don't defend. We don't apologize. We don't do that here. We don't apologize for who we are. There's nothing wrong with us. We express fully in the moment everything that comes up. This is who we are. I had to get to the point where I said, you know what, if you don't like it, oh well, this is, this is me. We moved to translucency. Then we moved to, through to complete visibility until we are completely see-through in visibility, if you will, because there are always different meanings in, for everything. Now, your physical body will evolve for you. It will upgrade. And it is a bizarre experience. It doesn't conform to anything that you once thought it did. And the more you go into diagnosis, and the more you go trying to figure out what's wrong with you, and the more you rely on the outside world to fix you, the more you give your power away to somebody else to heal you. We don't do that here. We do this ourselves. We come, become completely powerful beings again. I don't even know what I started talking about, but I never do. I talk about whatever comes through. It's important to honor you in every moment. It's important to see the patterns and the themes. It's important to see the energy of everything. It's important for you to just to bring it out, to honor it. Allow yourself, ask yourself, what am I avoiding? Pay attention. There's a lot here. It's a continual journey. But it is about the energy of everything. And when you can see the energy of all, when you can see the purposes in all, when you can understand it all, and it's not up front, so many want to know up front. They want to know first. It's not how this works. You'll get to know when you let go of the need to know. When you honor the process. When you honor you. When you honor what you're shown. When you honor what you hear. And when you go all in with everything you got. And you honor the process. Then you get to see. And it gets a whole lot easier. Because the resistance was inside of you. It was in your physical body. It was you holding on, getting in your own way, getting in your head. We all did it. It's a part of the process. There is no lack. If there's lack in your world, there's lack within you. If things are off in your world, they're off within you. If they're out of alignment out there, you're out of alignment inside. We get it right inside. We come back to love. We pull away. We bring our power from the inside out. Very powerful. Absolute magnificent. It will be intense at times. It will be tough at times. Until you stop fighting. And get into step with your journey. There is absolutely nothing wrong with any one of us. We don't lack. We're always good enough. We're more than good enough. We're amazing. And I remember being a really strong person. But inside I measured myself up by everybody else's 
beliefs, thoughts, perceptions, what they thought of me. I worked really hard to excel. I was part of my upbringing was to be the best, to be perfect, to make everybody else happy, and to be quiet. Don't speak. Communication, speaking, huge. We speak about absolutely everything, anything, all things here. Nothing unspoken, nothing judged, nothing hidden. That's an old program. So speak up, speak out, listen, honor, and share openly everything inside of you from a place of balance is where you come to. You're coming back inside. You're coming back as who you are. You're coming back to love. You're coming back to unlimited. You're coming back. By shedding every bit, and that means physical people, physical things, physical everything, that is not of your new earth existence. There's no struggle on the earth. The only struggle you have is anything that comes up within you and you work through it really fast. Utter and complete openness. And boundaries, they are huge. We do not allow the old stuff in our world anymore. It's like, nope, not in my world, not in my reality. We're here to maintain a field of super consciousness. Super consciousness is our light ship. And we are doing amazing things now we couldn't do before. Intentional existence. Quantum existence. Quantum beings. Going beyond the limits that were pre previously imposed and held in place by us in our program. That we held within us. We don't need those anymore. So, we open our heart, we open our mind. We believe absolutely everything. We continue to expand the mind, expand the mind, expand the mind, expand the heart, expand your existence. Go beyond. It is the process. And bizarre is an understatement, but in the most magnificent, weird ways. So get ready. Human aspect doesn't do very well with this stuff. And that's the struggle for everyone. So when you embrace the crazy, when you embrace the bizarre, when you embrace the magnificence of who you are, it gets a whole lot easier. Up and out. Bring yourself up and out. Share openly. Purity. We are pure. None of the old stuff anymore. I love you. Mahalo. And I'll do more videos very soon.